They clean the belt. They clean the belt. They clean some of it up and sort of prolong the life. I don't know what they're made of, some form of rubber. I can't remember what they're called, but they're good. All right, lads. Okay. I've done this once before in here, boys. But I'm gonna do it again. Let's see how I roll. Right, so your dingers. Your BH dingers. Both these are large. One's been cut down where it's worn down. I've had to cut it through. These, these three are bucket handles, which the BH dinger was modeled on. Now, told you this before, if you've not seen the video, when you joint the brickwork, when you point it up, where this is rubbing on the clay bricks, eventually you're gonna get grooves in the front of this. And then once that gets to a certain depth, those grooves, it's game over. It's absolute game over. It looks awful. So the way you do it, you can file it with a metal file or I use a belt sander because it's quicker, easier. So you rework the tool and you can rework it. I don't know how many times, but you'll be able to figure that out until this piece of metal becomes too thin. When it's too thin, cut it off, hacksaw or a grinder, a little four inch grinder, cut through it with a metal blade, cut that bit off, rebend it in the vise if you've got one. All right, or you can do it on scaffold clips. I've done it on digger buckets. There's ways. So this one here, this dinger, this has never been cut down. I have changed the shape of it slightly. I prefer to have it the shape I like. But that takes nothing away from this tool. This is the single best rubbing iron you can buy on the market without a shadow of a doubt. I want to say the word fact, because in my head it is a fact. This is absolutely superb. But the metal's soft. So that's bad in one way because it wears quicker but good in a way, because then you can repair it. With the Marshalltown ones, that I keep saying how bad they are. My light's just gone out, boys. That's not so polite, is it? With the Marshalltown ones, they're a harder metal. And they get, you can't really rework them. I expect you could. I've never really tried with anything like that, but I don't have Marshalltowns. I throw them all in the skip. Well, the last one I did anyway. So get your rubbing iron, your dinger that needs reworking. It's obviously going to be noisy. All we're going to do, boys, the belt obviously runs this way. And I'm going to get the iron, the dinger, the bucket handle, and roll it backwards and forwards like this. Because we want to take, maintain the shape. Is that convex? Okay, so we need that shape to give us the slight recess, you know, the half round, but it's not half round. Anyone that rubs up half round, you're doing it wrong. You've got the wrong tool in your hand. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have a quick go, see if I can get some life into this one. I don't think you can see it, lads. Can you just see that? I can see it. I don't know if you can, but there's a couple of, there's two lines there where it's been going up and down the brickwork and it's at it. So this has got to go on, lads. Obviously, it makes noise. Here we go. stop that there so the end of it the very end of it is done you can't see that with the light i'm in the garage guys but here you can see the grooves but that's literally almost as quick as it is with a 
with a bell sander. Whereas obviously you'd be going at it a, quite a bit longer with a file. And I think, unless you're very good with a hand file, I think this is going to be an easier way to do it. I mean, you do it by eye and feel, don't you? But so that's all it takes, right, guys? Obviously, this isn't finished. It needs probably another three or four minutes. So when you buy them, they come with that rounded shape like this. Once you get to the stage where the cut down, which this one has been, I rounded it back off myself and I put the angle on that side. I have an angle there, look, that's the one that hasn't been touched. Make that angle out there. And then, so I put that on there. Again, done on this, just hold it still, let the belt do the work. And then with the rounded edges here, I just roll it round. Those um, angle, those when it, with the corners are rounded off is very important. I have been pointing with this one too. This is a bucket angle. It's got a square top, square-ish. It, it doesn't do the same job. You want that rounded bit like that. And when you re-bend them, you just need, that's about 25 mil. So I've put that in the vise, about 25 mil down and just <coughs> cut a Couple of pulls on that, or maybe, you know, with a hammer or something, if you struggle. And that's all it takes. Your dingers will last forever. They are such a fabulous rubbing iron board. Any of you that know anything about what I do, you know, I always say the word, it's got to be shallow. You can produce a beautiful, shallow, sealed joint with this. If you've got a Marshall Town, sling it in the skip. Buy yourself a BH Dinger. They are brilliant. Or if you're really lucky, see if your granddad's got one of them in his shed. They're about, they're getting very hard to find nowadays. Okay, guys, I hope that can help. Pug up.